Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. I hope you're well. Uh, today uh, we're doing a video um, that I've been meaning to do for a while now but never quite got round to it. Uh, basically what we're going to be doing is looking at this cheap and cheerful kind of self-built Telecaster. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a moment. We're going to be comparing this guitar which owes me somewhere in the region of 160 quid and we're comparing it to this guitar which has been very kindly lent to me by one of my students Pete Long. Cheers Pete. Um, this is a Fender American Elite Telecaster. So um, as this guitar is pretty much the focus of what we're talking about in the video let's have a look and see what we've got. Um, we have a ash body and a maple neck rosewood fretboard uh, 22 medium jumbo frets and I don't know the numbers on this but in terms of the neck profile and radius and everything but it feels pretty much like any modern Fender neck which is to say very comfortable indeed uh, tuners are Fender branded uh, locking tuners and down at this end we have kind of the modern take on a Telecaster style bridge. Uh, pickups are Fender fourth generation noiseless pickups with a three way switch, volume and tone controls. We also have another little ace in the hole with this one which is that you can see there, there is a push button switch in the centre of the volume pot. Um, Basically what happens with this is that when you're in the middle position, i.e. both pickups uh, engaged, you press that in and it wires the pickups slightly differently. I'll spare you the, uh, the technical description of the difference between series and parallel wiring. But basically you press that in and when you're on the middle position on the uh, pickup selector, it gives a warmer, more humbucker-like sound. Um, so there you go. About 1600 quids worth of um, Fender's finest really it is a beautiful guitar and um, you know it would be uh, it would find a, a place in my collection very nicely indeed um, yeah lovely looking guitar I just mentioned around the back as well we have um, kind of the the neck joint has been dressed away to make playing up the top end of the neck just that little bit easier um, is it any easier to play up there? Well, you know, I mean, you can you can get up to the top end of the neck quite easily, but then again, I've never found it particularly difficult on a guitar without that uh, being done. But that's just my personal thing as well. The other thing you can see on the back is we've got this sort of rib cage contour here. Um, again, it makes the guitar comfortable but then again if it's not there I've never really found a Telecaster without that to be an uncomfortable guitar if I'm honest. Um, so that's this guitar let's have a look at the one that we're comparing it to I've done a couple of videos on this guitar in the past um, so if you want to search those out I, I refer to this guitar as the charity shop Telecaster because I bought it in a charity shop um, I believe it started out life as one of those cheap eBay kit guitars um, and somebody had obviously had a go at putting it together and made a bit of a pig's breakfast of it to be honest with you and got sick of it and given it to a charity shop where I bought it for the princely sum of 25 quid. <laughs> I mean you see an electric guitar in a shop window priced at 25 quid how can you possibly walk past? Um, I just thought even if it's an absolute dog of a guitar, it'll you know I can put it up on eBay for 40, 50 quid and, and you know at least not lose any money. Maybe make the price of a fish and chip supper or something. Anyway, got it home. Horrible high action, raspy, brittle, trebly, harsh sounding pickups, and you know it was obvious that um, it needed some work. But lurking it within there, there was a pretty nice guitar. Uh, we have. A poplar body. I originally thought that it was pine, um, but 
my friend James Bragg, a brilliant guitar technician in Middlesbrough, uh, took a look at it and he assures me that it's uh, a poplar body, maple neck, um, again medium jumbo frets with a remarkably similar feeling neck to uh, the Fender over there. Um, medium jumbo frets, only 21 of them this time, so we're, we're, we're sacrificing that final note, but I don't tend to do much stuff up this extreme high end of the neck anyway so it, it doesn't really matter that much to me fairly modern feeling kind of neck basically as I say very much like a modern Fender uh, guitar which is as I said very comfortable um, standard non-locking tuners these are the tuners that the guitar came with um, I didn't see any reason to change them they feel smooth they tune up, they hold the tuning fine, you know, it, they do the job, why change them? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Down at this end, uh, the bridge was one of the things I replaced on this guitar. Um, it originally came with uh, a top loader style bridge where the strings just kind of come out the back here. Um, I got, as I say, my uh, local guitar tech, a guy called James Bragg, to convert it to uh, through body stringing. Uh, we've got the, it's it's more of a vintage style ashtray bridge with the three brass saddles um, and so on. Um, pickups on this guitar are, I can't remember the brand name of this one, but as you can see it's a Hot Rails style humbucker. Um, it's actually more like a Cool Rails um, thing because it's got more of a vintage output. It's an Alnico 5 magnet um, and it's somewhere between the sound of a traditional Telecaster pickup and more of a kind of a P90-ish sort of sound. The neck pickup is an Iron Gear Steel Foundry Overwound pickup, which is kind of like a vintage style Telecaster pickup, but with a, a bit more output. Uh, all the usual stuff down here. Uh, Three-way selector, volume, tone, no kind of trick switching on this guitar it's just it is what it is what you see is what you get um, and uh, there you have it those are the two guitars let's now have a listen to how they sound let's begin with some clean sounds <laughs> Next we'll wind the gain up a little bit for some crunchy, kind of bluesy, classic rock type sounds. Here they are.
And finally, let's have a listen to how both these guitars sound when you really crank things up and go for a big fat lead sound. <laughs> So there you have it, a £160 guitar versus a £1,600 guitar. Um, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not um, this one is worth 10 times as much as this one. Uh, all I will say is that this um, Fender Elite Telecaster is an absolutely beautiful guitar and I really covet it. Uh, so it would make a a very nice addition to my collection but sadly that's not going to happen because Pete wants it back um, nevertheless the uh, cheap and cheerful kind of charity shop self build that by the time I'd finished with it it probably cost me somewhere in the region of 160 quid I think this acquits itself very very well um, it certainly doesn't sound 90% uh, worse than this one <laughs> um, but there you go, um, two guitars, um, both Telecasters and from sort of opposite ends of the price spectrum really. Uh, make up your own minds which one sounds the best to you. Um, this is the one that I use on all of my professional en engagements. I use this in lessons, I use it in uh, recording sessions and I use it in the small number of uh, live gigs I do these days and it always acquits itself very well um, this one is just a thing of beauty really and that's all there is to it and with that we'll leave it there for today I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please hit the subscribe button and that way you'll get to see more of them if you live on Teesside and you want some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition, then get in touch with me via the details at the end of this video. And I also do lessons via Skype as well, so even if you don't live on Teesside in the northeast of England, you can still have lessons with me. Uh, the lessons are £15 for an hour session and your first one is free and that's pretty much it really oh i'll just mention as well my uh, albums that are out at the moment across they're out across all major platforms itunes amazon google play spotify all the usual places basically um, if you're a fan of bluesy melodic shreddy guitar playing then you're gonna love them um, there's two out at the moment one's called handles for forks and the other one is called The Whiskey Made Me Do It, because it did. Get them uh, from the links in the description below. And with that, I'll wish you a good day. Bye for now, and see you next time. Bye for now, folks.